Speaking of money, though, and money is a great thing to talk about, let's move on to Kickstarter. Mm. Um, and there's a, a, a little project that's come up on it recently that is near and dear to my heart as I spent many days as a child collecting notes and jiggies and walking around with a bird in a backpack um, with Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. Um, obviously the guys who used to be at Rare, uh, well, a small team of them, left and formed Platonic Studios. Is it Platonic? It is Platonic. Mm, yeah, sounds right. Yeah, Platonic Studios. Um, and then they have revealed a new game Project Ukulele, which its real name is Ukulele, which is a small lizard chameleon thing with a bat on its head. And it looks fucking fantastic. Yeah, it is great, <laughs> um, isn't it? Full like, disclosure, I have backed it. I have paid £20 to get the full digital game. No, as I'm well surprised as surprised that the £5,000 has been snapped up by you. Yeah. No, not, no, no. VIP access to the special I was, concert. I was tempted by the £3,000 one to be yeah, a voice in the game. I would love but, to do um, that too. I had to buy food shopping or something as well, so <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> that, that dream was over. <laughs> That's a preference. Um, but yeah, Ukulele is essentially a love letter to the old sort of kind of 3D platformers like Mario 64, Donkey Kong 64, Banjo-Kazooie, all the N64 games basically, Yeah. Um, which have been dead and buried for a very long yeah, time. Yeah, very, very long time. So the question being here, what would make you put serious money into a Kickstarter? Not even serious money, but... I don't think, the thing is, I don't really feel like it takes much to convince me. I'm quite easy to convince with games generally. Have, have either of you backed a Kickstarter before? Yeah. yeah. Kingdom have Come you? Deliverance. Okay, what's, what was that? Well, what happened? I haven't seen much of it recently, but when they first announced it to me, it was kind of like, it was an RPG, sort of Skyrim sort of style, but it was, you know, medieval sort of world. There's no fantasy to it. Yeah, it was... Which I guess was the key point. Yeah, it was more just medieval, like... But it just looked great. When they showed the trainer, they just sold me to it on the trainer alone, and I was like, that's what I'm working back. But well, that's a couple of years ago, so God knows what that is now. They're still sending out updates. Yeah, uh, I, just, I don't think I ever read them, but... I mean, it was just... I feel like for me, with Kickstarter, it's this case of, if they're going to do a game that I don't think is going to get made elsewhere, it's like, it's well worth a back. How much, if you don't mind saying, how much did you put into this game? Uh... I can't remember now. It was probably anywhere between like 20 and 30 quid, maybe. Yeah. I'm wondering like the 10 to 15 pound mark. Whatever version gives me the game. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty much, much what it was. I was like, what do I get the game for? You see, I'd, I'd done that with ukulele. Um, I was tempted to do ukulele as well. Mm. Oh, mate, I don't know, I was just watching the video. I was like, it's it really yeah, awesome. It looks great. It's, it's the music, man. It's, it's, I want to run around in this world. And for 15 quid, music. you know, you can't really go wrong, can you? Well, that's the one I went for at first. I went for 15 quid and. You know, I, I was straight on it, like, five minutes in, yeah, here's my £15 for the game. And then that, like, just seeing the money go up, it was hypnotic. Mm. It was like 70000 72000 73000 73000 And then eventually I was like, ah, oh, I want to put more money in this. Can you still back it now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, it goes I'll, on for a month. Oh, right, yeah. I'll, you know what, I'll probably end up back it, to be fair. I'll put 15 quid into it if it means I get the game. 44 days left. So why up my reward... So now I'm getting the game and a toy box, oh, yeah. oh, nice. which is a preview build basically. So that so I will get basically a, a level, mm. no objectives or anything, just to run around yeah. for an extra fiver. So I, I, do, I mean, that. I just really like that whole formula of Kickstarter. With regards to games, obviously I know they do Kickstarter for everything these days, but is it when it comes to games, though, pardon me, it's not dangerous though in a way. <laughs> dangerous for who? For the user, for the yeah, end. yeah, because you know there have yeah. been a couple of horror stories. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Uya, I'm sure is a great one to look at. Really, I mean, at least it came out. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I guess that's they the biggest. Promises. It's kind the biggest of. danger is if you back something like heavily and it never comes out. So I guess that's why I'd be a bit tentative with certain things. Like you know, with with ukulele, obviously, it's you know who these guys are. It's going to be a great game, and yeah. you're probably quite comfortable backing them, regardless. Very. Whereas with some people, it's like a very unheard of studio, like brand new. If you see, okay, yeah, you want five thousand pounds for some stupid edition, it's like, why would you ever do that? Because you have no yeah. idea they can actually deliver. But yeah. you know, if you're going to throw fifteen pound into it, it's like, you know what? Well, that might help get this game up and running. Then, then why not? You know, what would you guys like to see come to Kickstarter? Chromans two. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> that was obvious. Um, anything else? Kickstarter. That is not obvious. Um, 
you know what? I'd actually like to see more games like Ukulele because that's kind of very nostalgic for my childhood. Well, the, th the thing with Ukulele and the thing that also intrigues me as well is that w what they were trying to do with it is whatever sort of characters that are in Ukulele, they want them to eventually branch out and to have their own games as mm. well. So you could be roaming around Ukulele, see some, I don't know, crazy cowboy looking guy, <laughs> and he might have some like third person shooter game yeah. like come out after that. Yeah. So I like the fact that th this is more than just a game, it's kind of like the start of their universe, their world. They're, yeah, they're creating a new, a whole new sort of thing. It's not just going to be a, a like a one product thing. Yeah. This is, this is the start of something that hopefully is magical and brilliant and goes on for many years of yeah. time and Microsoft never buy them and kill them. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I'm very excited by it. But, um... Yeah, it's good. I mean, it looks good. I mean, I've seen I think a couple of minutes of of the footage, and it just looks. You know, all I want to do is run around a grassy place, jump up some platforms, and collect some stuff, collect mm. some coins. Yeah. yeah, you know, the simple sort of days. They, they don't. They generally don't make games like that anymore. Where it's especially the 3D platformer. You still get plenty of 2D, you know, like Rayman and stuff. Are all great, but can't forget that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Knack is like it, if you love Crash Bandicoot, Knack is what you're after. Because <laughs> Crash Bandicoot was rubbish. Um, <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> no, I never, I never played it. To be fair. So. Like, what? It, naughty Dog, mate. It <laughs> should be, know. should be your bread and butter. This is the only Naughty Dog game I've not played. <laughs> is it all the crashes? I played quite a lot of Crash. I played Crash Team Racing on the iPad. <laughs> I, I think it was the racing games. See, I never really played banjo. I was more. I played a lot of Crash. I played Spyro and Croc, obviously. You know, the greatest of them all. But <laughs> I like Spyro. Yeah, I like Spyro. What about Conquer? Conquer. No, 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 I didn't play Conquer either. No, not, not heard the orchestra from the big giant poo. <laughs> no, <laughs> I've never played Conquer, but I know about that. Um, he's actually just come out again, actually, on Xbox under Project Spark. Oh yes, Project Spark, which was annoying. Why, oh, Microsoft, yeah. why don't you just make a proper Conquer game? Just now people can make Conquer yeah, games. Yeah, you make it yourself, time. mate. That's, that's the beauty yeah, of Yeah, I've got to do the hard work. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Um, right, okay. Um, oh, oh, yeah, just one more point on Kickstarter. Shemi 3. No, oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Sega, just just let it go. Let Yu Suzuki have Shemi 3. Let him run with it. Do you think now that you've backed, obviously you've backed Ukulele, do you think this will be the start of you backing games just, more and more? Just endlessly chucking money at Yeah, you'll people. just be like, yes, create all these legendary games. It depends what it is. I, I never Yakuza thought... karaoke standalone game. I mean, I never thought I'd back anything on Kickstarter, but I mean, if it... I th this speaks to me, like, almost at a personal level, because mm. I lost hundreds of hours to Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. Banjo-Kazooie is probably the only game I could speed run and get a half decent time. I'm sure, you, I'm sure you could do it with any Sonic game that's, as well. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's how much I know Banjo-Kazooie, the, the original. Um, and I think the music is just fantastic. I, I don't think there's anything else, anyone else quite like... Uh, I know one of the guys' name is Grant Kirkhope who does it. Um, there's, I don't know, it's just so unique and... Mm. I was looking at who's doing the soundtrack. Seems like they've gone back in time to get all the gems back. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah. It's, it's kind of the way I guess brilliant. you need to do it, isn't it? Because in that way, at least you give the older viewers that nostalgia still. You know, they still get that same feel of what this game. I would be been. surprised if with this, this Kickstarter, the average age, age isn't like over twenty five or yeah. way over twenty five. Like, yeah, our kind of age generally. Because I was still young when Banjo Kazooie came out. Mm. I think I must have been 10, 11, 12. So p people like a few what console did you play on it? Like, what did you play it on, sorry? For what? Uh, Banjo Kazooie. Uh, N64, and then I bought the remake as well for 360. So, I, I don't think there'll be a lot of, like, young, youngish people who have backed this, but, nah, they'll learn eventually. I mean, enough, people have, uh, enough people have backed <laughs> it now that it doesn't matter. It'll be the younger no. generation now that we're playing it, and then they'll grow up. Yeah, like, yeah, no, well, hopefully. This game is. I mean, like, my, my five year old son, I have a son, wait, um, he saw some Banjo Kazooie because I showed him the other day, and he instantly fell in love with mm. it, these crazy characters. Um, just to give an update on where we're actually at, this this was supposed to be about what stuff we want coming to Kickstarter, but we've ended up talking exclusively about ukulele, so. I suppose it's worth um, talking about, really. Well done, Playtonic. We are currently, as of Sunday, at about, what time is it? Five o'clock. We are at 1.2 million. Just crazy. Over. Uh, well, what just their, gone up another What was their goal? The, the original goal was 175,000. That is wow. crazy. They reached that in 38 minutes. That is absolutely. They must just literally be 
sat back now thinking, right, we can make such a great game. Yeah, no, they're, 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 they've added extra stretch goals. Um, <laughs> <they've> had <to. laughs> yeah, had to. What else can we do? It's like, okay, yeah, yeah. this has gone a bit crazy. Let's offer them all sorts of random stuff. So for your ukulele, here's, here's what we've got. Uh, I'll just run through the stretch goals really quickly. It comes out on PC, Mac and Linux day one, console releases to follow. Uh, a boss battle on every level. A pre-final boss, boss quiz show challenge, <laughs> which I had in the original Banjo Kazooie and was fantastic. Really? Um, transformations into unexpected things, that's what Mumbo Jumbo did. Uh, a mix of 2.5D and 3D minecart sections, a la the old Donkey Kong games that, that, that Rare made. Uh, a local co-op buddy mode. Cool. A two to four player local multiplayer versus mode. Cool, good um, times. Plus an extra four multiplayer maps, that was one of the last ones. Um, something about exclusive character designs from some of our old mates or whatever. Um, different languages. Uh, the main one, though, for, for me who will play it on PS4, simultaneous Wii U, Xbox One, and PS4 releases on day one, the same with PC, Mac, and Linux. Mm, that'd be cool. So that's the main thing. I'd like to play on PS4, out. I feel. 1.1 million stretch goal was called Going Old School. That's to include an N64 shader mode. <laughs> Which That's cool. really running out of ideas. Sounds <laughs> awesome. Well, there, well, there's two more ideas left. Uh, developer walkthrough and commentary, which has just been reached, and then the one that hasn't been reached, which is at one and a half million, is uh, an orchestral score. Uh, that would be, be pretty cool. So, uh, that would be really cool to reach. From the looks of this, I don't think they're going to add any more because there's like an asterisk that says additional funding also helps to continue the polish. The polish. Yeah, it's like okay, so we're, we're you've done. Got to finish somewhere. Well, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, right. Although speaking of Kickstarter. <laughs> Star Citizen? I don't know if you're aware of that. No. Oh, that's probably the biggest of the Kickstarter. I've heard of funded, Star Citizen, yeah. but it's basically a, a massive space sim. Oh. And, Joe's uh, got a game. Oh. I did. Yeah, I did actually back. You back? Oh, you yeah. Like, you said you only back one. Oh, Joe's back to Felix. No, no back. Oh, this is. Yeah, I've only done two. Yeah. It's Kingdom Come and that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. That was your first one, wasn't it? It's the first one. Yeah. That's been going on for a while now. Were they any closer to the sort of uh, launch within there? Or? They've got this like hangar mode, so you can like load up and make you fly around space. Oh, you just see your ship they, and shit. They start doing space uh, combat, cool. where you can play that bit now. Mm. But I, I can't remember how much they reach, but it's a ridiculous amount. Like, <laughs> absolutely insane. That's the thing with Kickstarter: is if you can, if you show people like some crazy game that's you know just going to appeal to you, then people will back it. You know, and it, things like this, like three D platformers, like space combat. Yeah, two completely different things, but it's you can see how that would really appeal to certain audiences. Yeah.